What's up to all you sleepy boys and girls out there that need your beauty sleep to go hit a gym workout? I just swore in the first 20 seconds. Deal with it. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, anyway, if you need your beauty sleep, then I don't know if you're a real one. Because if you're a parent out there, you know, you don't get a lot of fucking sleep. There's D. He just started. He just started his channel. What's your channel called? It's gonna be Zero Limit Mentality. So it should be up. This will be his first video too. But I just released my first gym video, and I already know all the shit that I got wrong. I got better audio, better camera, better stand, and everything. So we about to get it. Um, we're here at Salt Flats in Twila. Um, this will be the first location next Friday. I am going to start a series of trying out all the Vasas in Utah and rating them and so you know which ones are good and which ones are bad. And You can follow on TikTok for the quick rate. Um, we're going to have the full vlog here and get the full workout. So I don't know. I don't know if y'all go to Vasa. I don't know if anybody's going to comment on this, but if you're a real one out there, comment what Vasa you go to and what one you think is the nicest and... We will see where they land. Um, do you have any words for the folks? I like those I'm checked out. I'm ready to hit a fucking pump. Ready to hit a pump. We're going to hit a chest workout. I am off uh, 24 hours and no sleep. <laughs> and we're going to go get some crazy pump workout. I'm going to hit 315 on bench, hopefully. Um, Yeah. And... Uh, Man, if you don't, if you're not consistently go to the gym and you're a parent, whatever, blah, 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 like, I get it. But if you're not excited to go to the gym, then I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't get to go all the time. So I'm, I'm excited. But uh, we're about to go hit this. You have any last words? Well, what I'll say is, yes, the gym sucks and it gets repetitive, but get your ass out there. And once you get it in your routine you'll start to love that shit like right now it's fucking, i'm dead fucking tired 30 minutes ago i was asleep and but right now i'm cracked out ready to fucking go so get your shit together and go get yourself a fucking pump so here we got a bench press i like to open up my workouts with a good bench especially on a good chest day um i didn't film it but we did a little bit of some crossovers to kind of activate the chest to start. Right here, we're just doing a nice warm-up set. So in this video, doing a little different approach, doing a little bit of a voiceover. Um, I'll be switching back and forth between me and Derek in these clips, but I won't be talking too much. I'll kind of... Kind of be talking in between, but something new, something new to try out. Um, so we weren't weren't supposed to be going to max, but it's not how chest day works. We we always seem to try and max out a little bit, but this is definitely not the max. <laughs> um. I like to slowly increase with some small reps, kind of save that energy. I don't know if that's the right way to do it or not. It's just what I've always done. As you can see, we jump up to two plates here pretty quickly. Nothing too crazy. But again, shout out to Salt Flats Sports um, out here in Twila, Utah. All the equipment super nice. Um, a lot of things to do out there from working out, CrossFit, the basketball courts, the grass area to some sauna. So if you're looking for anything like that, head out there, check them out. So uh, what's your guys' go-to gym playlist? So I know when we start lifting a little heavier, we always have to find a good gym playlist, so to say, or uh, a good song to play. 
That's what Derek was doing here in that clip. But let me know. Let me know in the comments if any of you are down to comment. What is your go-to bench press song? We were going pretty rapid here, I guess so to say, just like back and forth, so I didn't cut too much. But I usually like to rep this one out a little bit, but again, wasn't wasn't going for reps, just get a quick little bit of weight and then moving on. So in this clip, 275s loaded up. I thought I'd just grab it and throw one down real quick. Um, nothing too crazy. Derek ends up throwing a five on, I believe. And I I left this in the video just to show you that you don't always hit what you're going for. Everybody fails. Um, a lift, but you got to add every time you're trying to max. I think that's the important part here. So the previous week he was telling me he got 275. He loaded up something new, something a little heavier, going for it like you're supposed to, and uh, didn't get it up. Something that I'm kind of about to do, um, going for 315 here. Uh, 320 is my max, but haven't hit chest in about a week and a half. I was getting it up here. I think I would have got it up. You can see I turned around and I was like, come on, man. Come on. Kind of grabbed it a little prematurely there. But we're not complaining. And then again, loaded up 275, dropped the extra weight, going for his one rep max. And uh, as you can see here, you usually could get what you're used to up pretty decent. So got it up. Pretty easy, honestly. I thought he could have got the other weight. Um... But I don't know. It's weird. Weights are weird. You add 10 pounds and it's you can't get it off your chest. So I was going for 315 here. I told him not to touch it for a second set. I'm not going to make an excuse. I just, you know, just couldn't do it. I, I believe my chest was already done for the day at 315. Again, putting in that failure a little bit. Um, next time I do a chest day, I promise you I'll be getting it up. And then in this next clip, I believe, I go for it again. Told him just to put his two fingers on. It's my third set. I wasn't going for anything by myself. Just trying to get that, trying to get that set. Watch the bar go up. And then again, with just two fingers, it goes up so much easier. Like, uh... I don't think the I don't think the fingers do much, but it's all mental. That's what we're kind of talking about here. I don't know why lifting is so mental, but it is. It's weird. It's a weird thing. It's a weird sport. Um, right here we are. I loaded up two plates, two twenty-five, just repping out as much as we can, even with those failure sets. A little bit of an assist, just going to complete failure here. Um, little hyper, oh, fuck, 
hypertrophy training. I'm going to leave that in there. It happens. But uh, I think it's super important to go to failure. I don't know the science behind it. I don't know if it's the best thing for you, if it helps, if it helps with strength, helps with bodybuilding or physique. But I think it helps. Kind of kind of tells the muscles they got to grow. Um, stay with me here. Next week um, that I do this, I promise you I'll get better. <clears throat> um, just like the gym, putting in, putting in those reps, you know, every time that you do it, you got to make yourself a little bit better. So I'm hoping this video is better for you guys than last time. Right here kind of messed me up a little bit. I kept hitting the side of the bar, as you'll see right here. Um, that's the only thing. I think these bars are a little too wide and I was kind of sliding a little bit, a little bit sweaty, had to re-rack and readjust, but kept going. Like I said, my chest was pretty dead at this point and, uh, I don't think I was keeping it as straight as I should have, but that's how I like to start some nice bench, especially if you're going for a max or heavy weight. Um, for this next set, go to incline. I think inclines are super important to hit. Um, when I do chest day, I got to do bench. I got to do incline of some sort, either dumbbell or straight bar. The Smith, uh, the Smith machine is pretty cool. It's pretty hard to get used to how it's on a track. It forces you to keep that good form. But right here, I... Uh, Felt like I was a little too far forward, and then I moved it a little too far back. That's the only bad thing with the Smith machine is can't adjust while you just have it. But that's neither here nor there. Um, I didn't get Derek's first set. This is Derek's second set. Added some weight on. Got to keep climbing. Um, let me know down in the comments what what you like to hit for chest. Tell me what kind of workouts you like to do, what order you like to do. Um, let's make a community. So I kept that same weight, kind of just roughed it out till almost failure, I think. Felt pretty good. Loading that last set up here, um, you'll see us both kind of struggle on this last set. Like I said, training to failure is hard. It's what you got to do. If you're not training to failure, I don't know what you're doing. You kind of got to push yourself. But even if it's, uh, you know, low weight, high reps, go until you can't go no more on that last set. That's kind of my mentality on things. I don't know if anything I'm saying or doing is right, but that's what feels good for me. Um, after filming this, I will, my chest was sore for honestly about two days after. I loaded up 225. I was only going for, I was trying to hit five, but as you could see, like I said, my chest was pretty done. We get three reps out here. The last one was was pretty damn close to coming back down but we got it up got it up like an old man assisted by modern medicine <laughs> switch it up to some presses Like I said, this gym has a lot of stuff. I'd definitely come check it out. Everything's new. Um, it beats Vasa, honestly, um, here in Twilla, I believe. The squat racks, everything is new, nice. Like I've talked about in one of my previous podcasts, Twilla's Vasa does not have anything for squat racks. Like, pretty old. It's only got like two. That's all you 
you know, you need, but it's nicer to have a lot of equipment so you could be working out, not having to sit and wait. I've had to sit and wait for a while there, honestly. But trying to get some high reps here. Um, as you can tell, I'm looking at the camera a little awkwardly. Um, again, filming the workout's a little bit weird, so getting a little more comfortable, but, you know, getting in those reps all we could ask for so on some of these secondary lifts I like to do two sets of everything go a little heavier push yourself a little bit more that's all you need is two sets but sometimes I'll throw in a third set with a lighter weight and kind of burn out but was not feeling it today I wish I could keep um, the original audio in here, hear me struggling a little bit on some of these lifts, but they had some music, so can't keep that in here. And as you can see right about here is Derek's beautiful face. So raise the weight up a little bit again. Nothing too crazy. Like I said, just go to failure. You don't really, I'm sure workout plans and everything are better. The scientifics behind everything. I'd like to get on a workout plan. Um, kind of see how it goes. I'm trying to, trying to bulk a little bit this season, but summer's coming around the corner, so I don't know how much I want to put on. I don't know anything like that. So if you're a nutritionist or you create workout plans or something out there, hit me up. Yeah, I'd love to try it. <laughs> but these workouts have been working for me. Like I said, I'm all natural. I um, feel like I'm putting up some pretty good weight. I feel like my size isn't where I want to be, but, you know, aren't we all? So I left in this clip because if you're not cleaning your equipment after you use it, what are you doing? Um, I didn't throw it in any of the other clips. I just thought this one was pretty good. You got to clean your equipment. You got to keep it nice. You got to be there for the gym because they're providing all this equipment for you. You got to clean it for the next person. So I just wanted to throw that in there. little PSA out to everybody. Clean your equipment. I um, like to throw in a little peck deck, a little bit of flies here. Um, <clears throat> make sure you get that full range of motion and really get deep. We were going for a little heavier weight, so we didn't get as deep as I usually like to get, but I feel like that's what really helps the growth and getting that fuller, fuller chest, I guess. a little light um for me but uh like i said going a little heavier than i usually like to but you got to push yourself if you're not putting in that work every single set i don't know i don't know what you're doing So um, let me know if you guys are still around right now. If you like me to put in every set, if you want to just see one set and maybe the other set sped up, let me know. Um, 
I want to provide the content you guys want to watch. But as of right now, I'm going to just put in every set. Um, usually, I, I don't know if Derek's going to be coming with me on my Vasa journey. See what Vasa is the best one in Utah. But um, it should usually just be me. I hope I hope to see some of y'all out there, some of y'all beautiful faces. On these last sets, we both get the the squinty eyes and trying to get that last rep out. But um If you don't go hard, you ain't gonna make it in life. Gotta get ahead of these lazy fucks. A little bit of words of wisdom there from Derek. Um, like I said, you gotta put in that work. We're both out here grinding. I hope you guys are. Um, you know, people may not, may not see it at first, but if you keep going, you're gonna see something. Hopefully, you guys are watching this. Maybe you'll pick up some workouts from me. Hopefully I could pick up some workouts from you guys, from anybody out there. I would love to. I'd love to try different workouts. Um, I saw a thing out there saying if you need to switch it up every four weeks, four to six weeks, switch up your routine, just kind of shock the muscles a little bit so they don't get used to what you're doing. But uh, right here, I really don't know what these are honestly called. I need to get better with the names of these workouts, but kind of just coming up across the body. As you could feel it, it's kind of pinching the chest, kind of isolating the chest, kind of targeting that lower portion, lower to middle. On this second set, Derek wanted to switch it up, use a dumbbell, kind of get that bigger, broader range of more motion. Um, I've discovered on these, you could kind of um, turn your pinky up as you come across and really get that rotation and feel the squeeze. Especially towards the end of these workouts, you really don't need a lot of weight to do these, but it's more of it's on you. You got to push yourself, know what's right for you. I am definitely no expert, but I know what's, I know when it's hard for me. Giggity, giggity. So I got a question for all y'all out there. What shoes do you guys go to the gym in, honestly? I like to go in Vans. I like the flat flat sole of them, honestly. Um, let me know. I'd like to know your guys' answers. I'm not really doing CrossFit or anything like that. If I'm doing that, I bring running shoes or Nikes or whatever. Or if CrossFit, honestly, Vans. But if I'm doing running, right here we do a little dumbbell inclines. Um, kind of feeling a little spicy. Want to do some more inclines towards the end of the workout. Derek's got his hoochie daddy shorts on. 
Love to see it. Right here, I pick up the 80s. Got to get a little test, uh, test curl in, and then uh, get down to business. But uh, towards the end of this, my chest was pretty fried, and this was feeling this was feeling pretty good. Um, I usually try and get deeper, but the, it was feeling heavy towards the end here. Um. Kind of, kind of gave Derek some shit, and he went up and wait. I think he has some seventies in his hand. Um, he said he needed help, maybe to spot him, but he definitely did not need it. And I I just stick with the 80s. Like I said, I was pretty fried at this point. But towards the end, you could kind of see me failing. Derek had to step in and kind of help me out with the last two, I believe. Um, as you can see, I definitely thought about going up in weight, but ah, I had to get had to get these last reps in. So for that, before I go up, I need to kind of get this down. And then to end the workout, we uh, we decided to do some push-ups, kind of little body weight exercises. Um, we did two sets of 25 here. And uh, once we went down for that first, uh, first push-up, my arms did not want to pull me back up, push me back up. And then about right here, I was asking Derek if he knew how to widowy gritty. I don't know if y'all have seen that meme. So I got that in here. Kind of funny. Kind of fun. I don't know if any of you are a fan of football and see this in some celebrations. I definitely have and have been uh, messing around with it. <laughs> but um, I thought that was something fun I'd leave in. If you do not have good energy at the gym and... uh are having fun. Like I said, I don't know what you guys are doing because this is the time to relax, kind of get that stress out and have a good time. Got the last set of push-ups in. Um, so 50 overall. I think next time we're going to push it to 100, but Definitely felt it at the end of this heavy workout. Again, I'd like to say a big thanks to Salt Flats for letting us film in here. But uh, as you can see, facility is huge. Has anything you need. Batting cages, they could hold all kinds of sports. But uh, again, thank you. My chest is on fire. Um, that was Salt Flats. My chest is on fire. Um, that was Salt Flats here in Twila, Utah. Um, phenomenal gym, amazing gym. Um, owners are super awesome, came over, said hi to us. Freaking coolest people around. Um, has all the space, like you see, there's basketball courts, tennis courts, grass area, the gym equipment's all new. There's a CrossFit area that the owners are doing all the time. Like, if you have a chance to come to this gym, come check it out. Um, like I said, I'll be ranking the gyms I go to in Utah. Um, follow on TikTok. Um, if you get any anything out of my content, like, subscribe, um, follow on Instagram. But I, I got 315 assisted. So, I mean, not the best, but, you know, I hit it 
what was it, twice assisted. So, I don't know. You have those days where you feel like you're going to get it and you don't. That's okay. Um, as long as you're out there trying. Um, still assisted, still got those reps in. But anyway, until next time, peace.